Hi everyone, welcome to NSO Service Modeling Lab with Yang and XML. If you are new to this NSO world, then you can go and you can learn ABC of Cisco Network Service Orchestrator, that is NSO, and then you can come and complete this course. What I am going to cover in this particular course that I will show you about NSO model driven approach with means how with help of NSO model approach you can build these services irrespective of the devices say a five load balancer or Alka Lucent device or Juniper or Cisco iOS XR. Okay. So in this example, I'm going to build that model service and the service I'm going to use is SNMP. So first of all, I will give you some basic introduction about the model driven approach. What are the protocols used? What is Yang? What is NetConf, etc. Then this section actually that is taken from this particular course, bringing up the lab in this uh, course you will come to know that how we are bringing up the instances say uh, Cisco Juniper Alka Lucent or F5 although I have given example only how to bring up the Cisco iOS but in this same line you can bring up the other devices as well so in the first programming lab I am going to use template only model single name space means I have created the service model with respect to Cisco iOS and the service is SNMP and in the second lab I have generalized that means in the second lab I have taken five different devices these devices are these and then with help of Yang and XML I built that model driven service and then I have implemented the package over NCS once you implement that then you can go to the individual devices and you can apply those services sometimes you can think as a policy as well but the service is a uh, is appropriate word for that okay so this is the course introduction let us discuss about the service modeling methodology what methodology we have to build this service model approach now First of all, you have to identify the service. In our case, I am using SNMP. Likewise, we can have services like DNS, AAA, DHCP, etc. Then we need to identify the configuration on each device as a part of service instance. So is it a F5 load balancer configuration with respect to SNMP or Alka Lucent or Cisco or Juniper? All those things we need to identify. And finally, in my program which particular portion is static which particular portion is variable that I need to define so for example in our case first of all uh, I configure a lab with a single device it's a single device Cisco so at that time that single device is a static part because I know one device in other lab I have device 1 to device 5 there I haven't defined a device means I can uh, take either 1 2 3 or 3 4 5 like that so at that time that device counts are variable okay so that thing you have to measure in this model driven approach uh, what we have you can see the layers of protocols here we have layers of protocols say uh, Protocol layer we have netconf then encoding XML then transport HTTP and then young model that we have used in this particular section What is the service model construction that is again important that what construction we have we have actually two options one option is top-down other option is bottom-up what is the difference so suppose if I built my young first and then my XML obviously after that I will reload the package so that approach will be top down from top we are going down bottom up is that first of all we are building the XML and then the young so whatever approach we are using it's okay just the reverse approach that we are using and in this 
section I have used the top-down approach what devices I took I took Cisco ASR ALU Juniper Cisco iOS so this is redundant here but Cisco iOS I took and then the F5 so five different nature of devices I took in this particular section now let's discuss about NSO service model types you can see here either I can use the normal CLI configuration means I can go to my NCS I can log individually to the devices and I can configure with help of CLI that nowadays we are doing in the uh, current infrastructure we are logging to the devices via telnet or SSH and we are uh, forcing or implementing the configuration some of the devices like Nexus OS or other high level or high end devices we can create template and we can push the template to the devices that is also good now the use of this template means this template driven approach that mainly used for one time rarely changing devices or device group configuration so I have one template and I am using that template now in this particular service model approach we have service models and it's very very flexible it's highly repetitious I can use it n number of times irrespective of device A, B, C or D, E, F or like that means I can apply this say template or I can apply this model n number of times without any service interruption without any problem it's highly dynamic configuration means I can change the configuration according to my service models so I have a lot more flexibility and manageability options if I am using service model approach now why uh, is so because we are using the young uh, service model approach in young uh, we have some uh, defined model so say leaf leaf list container container list what is the basic difference between them that these leaf and leaf list they have some type and value and this container container list they don't have type and uh, value so leaf node node with name type and value no children they don't have children leaf list sequence of leaves sequence of this is this and then I have container and I have list in my example I have used leaf leaf list leaf access and the list so you can see the list of the data instances generally with one or more keys let me show you one example quickly that I have used in my lab you can see here that in list I have key and I have data instances in leaf I have type value in leaf list also I have type value in leaf access also I have type value okay so these are the uh, basics about the models means the these are the building blocks of the models this leaf leaf list and all these things and in this uh, service model driven approach kindly refer to ABC of NSO course uh, in that course I have created two instances related to Cisco iOS like C0 C1 here I already have created uh, three more instance say two instance for uh, Cisco XR and one for Juniper okay once I create that obviously I will check all those uh, list of NCS devices inside NetSIM and then finally I'm uh, going to create a template because in this case we are going to create one template with single namespace that is the Cisco iOS and in the upcoming sections we'll use that template okay so let me go to my CLI and from there I uh, will verify all those things one by one here I am in my CLI and let, let's check the folder so let me go to my home Cisco then NCS 4.5 let us check the packages here and all the folders I have one package here so if I go inside that package you 
and if we check that we have nets services and tools correct let me pop out from here let us check what the other stuffs we have so here you can see I have net sim and some other uh, extracts now what I'm going to do let me show you that uh, uh, we have the device inside the device list so let me log to the NCS and the same I can use it's telling the command not found that means I need to set my variable let me set my variable here once I set my variable uh, in this NCS run folder then I am able to log in now let me clean this here here we can check the device list whatever devices I have I can check that list now you can see I have added Juniper and iOS XR now what I can do here I can request so let me check that can I do the request sync let's check what are the other option we have with our devices we can check this sync as well okay and now you can see that sync result all the devices are in sync now other thing what I can do here I can check the packages and the uh, operational state so here I, I can see that packages these packages there there is one more pa package called SNMP set template I don't want to use I'm going to create my own SNMP template and then we'll check the uh, status so here you can see that uh, up to Juniper everything is up now let me show you other stuff here if I log in terms of Juniper and then if I go to configure now here if I check this package so let me let me check what other options we have because whatever things that we are doing with Cisco type of access we can do with the uh, Juniper as well in Juniper we need to use run show and then package then the okay packages then the upper status okay so it's fine it's okay now next what I want to do I, I, I want to create the uh, SNMP uh, model and here you can see that I want to create a template only service model skeleton so this I want to create to create this I need to verify certain things so let me verify those things first what I can do here from now I can exit from here I can go to my say package from package I can check my package so let me check this and help let me scroll this up so you can see this output the help output I'm concerned about my say Python template okay and if I go to NCS package and if I want to create a package say service a skeleton 
template and this is this will not do the auto completion if you type tab okay but what will be there if you type tab twice it will come here in the down I want to create template say for SNMP T1 that the name if your uh, command is correct then it will take otherwise what you can do you can go to NCS make package and take help from there if I scroll up and go up here this I want to create this uh, NCS make package this one the last one then the service escalating type and then the package name so let me use this let me copy first up to this this point go down okay and then I can give say template and then say SNMP T1 now once this is done I can check this so what I'm interested about that I want to check that the source is young and the XML or not so if I scroll up 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 the source that's okay the young and the XML so that's very much okay with this particular section let me close here in the next section we'll continue from here it's very important to know your exact configuration that on the top of which you want to build your service model in this case we have the SNMP service model so what I will do I will go to the CLI uh, both in terms of Cisco and Juniper and then I will build the configuration once we build the configuration then we have the option that will help of commit dry run output format we can check that configuration okay so let me show you this that how we can do that let me go to my CLI I'm here log to my CLI let me log to my NCS say in Cisco format I can use capital C from here I can build my SNMP configuration so what I can do I can go to the configuration then devices device the first device is say C0 and for this I want to do the configuration so I can go to config and then we I have this now I want to select SNMP from here so let me do that say iOS and that is SNMP so we have that filter option as well you can see I can use SNMP now for this SNMP my community list so what community I want for this and here be very careful that we have option related to SNMP and SNMP server I want to configure SNMP server with community my community it's a uh, let's use gig so giga net that is my read write community that's very much okay likewise I want to create one read only as well so let me use read only uh, the community string and the read only so say giga net and in the reverse net giga okay so you can see I have two configuration
related to SNMP server community Giga Net and Net Giga. Now, if I want to see the output, what I can do, I can do the commit, say dry run, output format, XML. This is my XML output format, you can see here. So, my device name, then config, community, Giga. I don't have access list for my uh, community, the string like that. Okay. Uh, at the moment, I don't want to commit it. So, I can exit from here. I can, I can actually, I can go to top. I can end. I'll type no because I don't want to do anything. I can exit from here now. Now this time I want to check in terms of Juniper. For Juniper, you have to go like this. Uh, switch CLI and then I can go to config. So, so you can see here we have the switch option both the places. I can switch from there as well. Let me exit from here actually I want to use Juniper and from here if I do the config see in this section we'll edit the service model uh, that is the Yang model file so what I'm going to do I'll go to my SNMP folder and then I will go to the Yang and then with help of my VI editor, I will edit the Yang file because in this case, I want to edit this in terms of my SNMP service. Okay. So what are the things that I'm going to change into the default program? Uh, that obviously those things will be related to my SNMP service. Here I'm going to apply SNMP service to one of my Cisco device where I have my SNMP template then I have my SNMP community string and over that I have either read write or read only access so this access you can see that uh, it is done via leaf access in terms of enumeration read only or read write then the community string so I have this leaf community string defined here and the leaf device I can check which device I'm going to use from here. Then I have the common SNMP template, which will be here. Okay. So doing all these things, I'm going to import one tail F common function as well. So I will import that as well. Let me show you all these things in CLI. Let me go to the CLI. I have my CLI here. So from here, I can go to my source and then young. Okay. If I do ls minus la, you can see this is my young file. Let me go inside SNMP young. Okay. So here you can see this is my default template and here I want to add some lines. So let me add all those things. First of all, I want to add say import the tail if common and then Prefix is tail f. Close this. Okay. Then I have this list SNMP T1. That's okay. Key name I want to give. My key name is a community string commis str. That's okay. So here you can see the brasses, they are open and then we'll check where it is closed. 
so it is open means we are writing the common template for my list inside this list i have leaf name so leaf name before changing that let me add info here say tail f info and that is my snmp server community string okay now what i want to do with this leaf that my leaf is say community string and then the type is obviously the string so that's okay so we are very much done with this particular section from here to here now the next section you can see that let me show you the full program here so we are getting one note here that may replace this with other way of referring the device so let me change this notes and what i can do here that i can write my own notes say change this to leaf for one cisco ios something like that we are writing this code for one device now here what i can do that i can add a leaf so let me add that say leaf device and i can give say tail f info that uh, say pick any one cisco ios device something like that so what basically i am doing here that i am adding a option that you have to pick a device then we have the leaf list device so let me do one thing here because i am writing this only for one device so what we can do here we can remove this line i don't want list i want only one device so that's why i have added the information rest is okay this is okay the path is also correct then finally we have this notes that replace with your own stuff here so what i can do here i can add let me scroll down so i can add my leaf device here and for that leaf device what is the access level because finally i have to add the access either read write or read only so that's why let's uh, add those things so let me delete this line because leaf access i want to give enumeration here i can add the info first so you can see the uh, structured programming that what i am doing is specify read only or read write access then we can go to the next line next line i can add say type enumeration then what is that type the type is say enum either read only or read write now finally we can put notes here that this is for say leaf access so we come to know that where i am closing my brasses otherwise 
if any of these mismatch parentheses I will get error while compiling this okay this will be say list snmp template this one so let me match it quickly this one is open so this is closed here this is and this is closed here and here this is closed here type enumeration I need to close okay so you can see that you have to match all the parentheses and I have to go up here and I need to close this so this is closed here leaf access closed here then this one and then finally we have the first program that is the list t1 so I'm very much done with this program let me compile this and let let us see if everything is correct then uh, without an error it will execute otherwise we'll get the error okay for that let me go to one step back here if I do ls minus la then you will see that I have this make file then what I can do here I can make say clean all enter here we, you can see that I am getting one error unterminated a statement for enum okay so let me go to young vi and where I have this error let me correct that so I have to go here and use the semicolon go here use the semicolon then escape write that then again I will go one step down and I will execute this okay so I have again one error here where it is 21 27 35 undefined prefix tail f okay so we'll do that as well so these things you have to do while you are doing the programming you need to improve all these things I log to the program and I am correcting it so whatever tail I have I need to use tail F then again we'll go to one step down again we will execute this program now it is successful okay in this section we are going to edit our XML template file so for that I need to go inside my template folder and then I have to open my SNMP XML file once I open that file then uh, that file look like this where I have to define the device and we have some placeholders here you can see that okay you can edit these sections so we will edit these sections but not only the devices and the name of the device but we need to add what is our configuration template here and those things or those variables will be taken from my yang model okay so I will define those things inside my XML because this XML package I am going to run okay so let me show you that what are the changes I am going to do in this so changes here you can see that I need to define so first of all what device I'm going to apply this then uh, the community say name is community string 
then what is the access either it is a read only or read write okay so once i will define all these things then i need to execute this so for that i will go log via maybe cisco or juniper style to my ncs and from there i will reload the package and then we'll check the package okay uh, before reloading the package uh, what i have done in my device instances i have added some devices like alka lucent and f5 load balancer as well so those instances also we'll see in the package output let me log to the device here i am inside the template let me edit the snmp xml file here it is now what i'll do i'll remove the placeholders so let me remove them and then i want to add say device that uh, device name is okay then inside the config so let me delete these things also because i am going to add my configuration here let me add those configs first of all i want to add the snmp say server so here is xml ns ios close this go next add the community inside that say name and then i have to define the variable so let me define the variable here that is taken from the yang model then let me close this name okay then what i have to do here i have to define say read only when it will read so give that as well say it starts with access so with and then i have to define the access access will be say read only close the bracket close the parenthesis so whatever uh, things related to say programming that whenever you are opening a braces you have to close it you have to use all those things here then close this as well otherwise while compiling it will throw an error okay so the same thing i am going to do here only thing here is the read write and when starts say with access read write okay and then this also we can close so so far we have done the configuration for the community string let's close this let me close this community done 
then let me go and close the SNMP server as well this is also done so we are very much done you can see only three four lines of code but you need to understand that these things will be called from the young model so uh, we have uh, configured this to say device then the device name then the config then the access and then we have closed all these strings so let me write it now next what I want I want to go to my uh, NCS CLI let me log in terms of Cisco and from here I need to reload so I need to reload the package so package reload and if we get something like uh, successful or two masses for my SNMP XML that means that configuration is correct uh, obviously the package will, will reload successfully and then uh, what I can do that I can check that package status okay uh, the packet status means the operational status of the package so give this to one to two minutes once it will come back then we'll check the result here itself and we'll check the operational status you can see here reload result is successful now I can check the package packages say SNMP I just want to check my operational status as well show say package packages yeah operational status and here we have SNMP that is up we are very much done with this section now we are done with our service model in this section we'll implement it over Cisco IOS and then we'll verify it let me go to my CLI I logged in as a Cisco CLI let me configure it my SNMP let me check I have my template then what I want I want community string say that is my giga net then if I type question mark access is asking what access level I have for this I have read write now I can give the device is say C0 and we are done likewise I can go to the same template I can give say net giga access read only device is C0 now what I can do here I can check my let me go to the top first now I can check the commit so let's do that commit and then dry run no capability found the C0 has a sync from device has been performed so it is telling that you can sync from let me do that will not write this we'll do one thing we'll request to sync from so let me check the available options I have yeah I have sync from option let's wait for a minute now it has been synced what I can do here I can check the package operational status so let me do that say show package okay 
let's go back and let's do the configuration for my say SNMP before doing any commit let me check this and I want to check commit dry run yeah now it is showing this that CLI local node data device device C0 you can see all these plus these things that I am adding here let me add one extra line here this time what I want I want say net giga and then the device access read only okay now I can go to top and again I can verify the dry run so here we can see that I have iOS SNMP where read and write and read community the template is this okay now what I can do here let me commit this commit is completed now I can go out from here if I type SNMP say GigaNet we'll check the sync on info in sync likewise the net giga will also in the sync let us verify the SNMP T1 and SNMP giga net okay then net giga that is also okay now if I exit from here if I do switch CLI and configure if I go to the Juniper mode from here if I check show SNMP T1 now you can see this in the Juniper mode as well let me go back to the Cisco mode so this is the way we can check now what I want to do here let me go back to my uh, NSO and inside NSO if I go to NetSIM CLIC C0 so if you are in the correct folder it will give you the output yeah so I am inside C0 you can see this now from here also if I check show running configuration say SNMP server now we have this uh, expression or this configuration that is uh, we are using in Cisco iOS okay so this is also there so you have seen three things here that from NCS admin I can go to Juniper I can go to Cisco check those things then what I can do I can go to my NSO and then from NSO I can go to my net sim from there I can go to that device and then I can check in that uh, native Cisco format okay so you can see <laughs> this much of uh, options and possibilities we have that we can verify okay let me log back to my NCS so I can go to NCS CLI U admin Cisco and from there if I want to check the metadata so that option is also with me I can go to C0 and then say iOS let me type question mark here 
so what I want to do here that I want to check the config first seems that I'm missing something say device and that is the thing if you are running in juniper mode then uh, you have to use some other strings if you are running in Cisco mode then you have to use some other strings okay so that is also one thing that we can learn I want to check the config that config is iOS SNMP Then it is asking about exec and default. So let me check this. That option is there in the Juniper mode. So you have to type this show device device zero config iOS. As an MP server display service metadata, if you press enter, then you will see here uh, what is the reference count because this time we have created these service model just to uh, refer one device so you can see the reference count and the string all those things in this section I will show you that with uh, five namespaces how I can build my young model the remaining namespaces or the devices are Cisco XR F5 Juniper Alkalucent first of all I will create the package name template 5 and once I created the package then I will go and uh, first of all I will check the device configuration and the XML output once I'll done the, with that then I will go and create or edit the young model once I edit the young model then uh, on that I will go and change that young model and then I'll come uh, compile that okay so these are the steps that I am going to follow let me go to my CLI here I have my CLI first of all let me create the package so NCS make package then the service a skeleton that is my model and the template say SNMP template 5 we are going to do this for the five devices now once I'll do that then what I can do that I can go to the SNMP template 5 I can check my you can see I have this XML file as well then I can say if I do say CD source if I find I have this young file here if I go up here if I do the find okay so I have both the skeleton created one is the template and one is the yarn now next what I want to do I want to go to my uh, device and from there I want to check the configuration so let me go to the say Cisco format say C now from here I want to say configure my XR device if I type question mark I have XR 0 I want to do the config related to Cisco iOS XR SNMP server and then the community the string I can give say giga net and then the read write access 
now this I want to check the XML output so let me do that uh, I can check show or I can do like this say commit dry run and then the output format I want XML here you can see this is the structure of XML file and here we have the SNMP community name and the redirect access what I want to do this I want to exit I don't want to commit this now let me show you this with respect to Juniper how we can do that again you have to go to device then this time the device is a Juniper you type question mark and then you will get the options as well I want to configure Juniper say for Juniper I want to configure the uh, June OS SNMP say SNMP and then the yeah then the community you can see here let me type community then the name of community I can give say GigaNet then I can give the access level so what I can do I can do the authorization suppose read only so say read only let me check there yeah read only now I can go to commit dry output so commit dry run output format XML here you can see the structure for Juniper okay here uh, uh, the other thing we have this authorization keyword like this parallelly I can go and check the structure for F5 as well so let me check for the F5 again you have to go to device devices say F5 load balancer and then obviously configure so I have that config only two option I have big uh, big IP no we have option related to big IP and can see that what big IP you want to configure uh, big IP say system because this system wide configuration then the question mark let me type what are the other options I have say SNMP I have and then SNMP communities I want to check okay community name say giga net and then obviously I have to give the access a say read write I can go to top the same output I can check to view the output now you can see the structure for F5 load balancer as well I don't want to write it then finally I will go to go and I can check the alkalucent as well so again I can go to devices device say ALU config I want to do for ALU system security say SNMP community say giga net anyways uh, if the name is there then I have say read and write again I can go to top and I can check the commit output here you can see uh, even I can use the hash 
keyword as well. I haven't used it, but you can see after GigaNet, the type is hash2 and then the parameters like that. This also, let's uh, cancel it. Now, what I have to do, I have to uh, format my Yang model. So, I am going to check my Yang skeleton and it should be there in the source. So, let me go to the source. Let us check the Yang. Yeah, I have this Yang. Go inside that. Now, I am going to uh, improve this or format this output according to our requirement. So let me go to VI SNMP Young and this program I'm going to change. So whatever things I'm going to change because in the last examples we have done something. Here also first of all I need to add. So I need to add the TLF. Let me add that. Let's add. So import that uh, tail F. Last time I have done some mistake uh, there to writing the tail. I, I excluded the F so that's why uh, I got some error. But uh, finally uh, we have modified that error. We find where is the problem. So suppose if you are writing anything and if you have some error while compiling it it will generate that output that in this particular line you have the problem then you can go and you can improve that okay so I have added this that's done then I will go to my key name here the key name I want to give say community string that's okay then I'll go to my leaf and the leaf name I can give say community and then the string <coughs> type will be a string so type is okay what I want to do I want to add one info here that is the tail f info so tail f not trail f tail f info say snmp server community string correct type is a string that's correct now let me scroll up to down till here and uh, once we change the string then what I want to do I don't want to add any device because this is not a specific to one device so I, I will not add that then I will what uh, then what I will do that I need to add the leaf access so let me leave this portion I don't want to use the, the this portion let me go to this section and this section I want to add yes uh, adding my stuff let me add the leaf what I want to do here is access okay and then this type Let me move all these things. Let me use our program say tail if info. So here I want to specify either read only or read write. Yes, that's okay. Then I want to type enumeration then the enum is say read only or 
enum is read write. We are almost done with the programming and the changes here. If everything is correct, then what I can do, let me write this. And once I write this program, then I want to compile it. Okay. So let me do and compile this program. So what I can do, I can go to CD in my source. I can type say make clean all. If everything is correct, we'll get the output. Otherwise, we have to go back and improve the coding. It is telling that you miss this where invalid keyword start character. We have this problem. So let me go back and uh, change this. We'll go to Yang VI, sorry, VISNMP. So I have given one extra parenthesis and that's why I have the issue. So let us check that. Extra comma actually, not parenthesis. Here it is okay. Telf info it is okay. Here in this section, what you can see here that I have given one extra parenthesis here. Let me remove that. So now it is okay. Let me rewrite it. Let me go back. Let me compile this one more time. Still, it is throwing an error. Unterminated statement at keyword type. Let me go to the folder one more time. Let me type SNMP here. Let's uh, rectify that. Here I can find this type is not defined so let me go and define this. And that's why it's very important to check all these things. So finally, this should be closed here. That's okay. Leaf access should be closed here. That's okay. Let me scroll down. So two are done. Then I have a list SNMP. So it should be closed here and then I have one final. So let me add one more parenthesis here. Let's write it one more time. Go to source. So let me go to source. Say go back, go to source, make file. Finally, we have done that. Okay. <laughs> now we are done with our young model. Let's go and complete the XML template. Now, because we have five devices in this case, so what I have to do here, first of all, I'll go to the template and then I'll open my default XML template. Then I have to add the configuration related to iOS. This, this configuration we have done in our previous example. Then I will add configuration related to say iOS XR. Okay, and you can see the uh, community and name. So whatever we have seen uh, with respect to their native configuration over the CLI, the same type of thing you have to do here as well. Okay, so uh, you can see here the iOS and iOS XR both are very much similar but, but when it comes to Juniper we have to define SNMP community string then here we have the option read only or the write only.
then we can close that even if I go to the other like if I go to ALU here you can see we have difference in the configuration that's why we have difference in the XML as well so I have to give type as a hash and then I have to define the access parameters then community as it is even in F5 as well you can see the name community string access level communities like this okay so what I have done here that I have those things in my notepad all these configuration I'm going to simply copy and paste to the default configuration so let me copy up to here let me go to my CLI let us check that I have that XML file so I need to go inside the templates and let us check yes I have this SNMP XML file now in this I want to edit I have already copied I want to paste here and I want to delete few lines here okay so let me delete some lines from here this is the comment actually you can give the comment if you want to let me delete I have deleted up to here let me edit this config bit so what I want from this uh, config this will tag and it will merge okay then again I have these comments here let me delete these comments because I'm going to use my comment let's delete it now in this configuration portion I want to paste uh, whatever I have here in the notepad so let me go up one more time yeah. let me go up let me copy this first till big IP copy this go back paste okay so once you paste even we can verify here some of the configuration and once I verify this then I have to uh, reload the package just to execute this so from iOS you can see that uh, read only read write the same that we have done then I have iOS XR and the important thing here I have to verify that the device open device is closed name is open name is closed this config so let me scroll down 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 let me go down let me go down just to verify the config yeah so config is there uh, let me write this okay now what I want let me log into my NCS CLI and I want to reload the package so what I want I want package reload and we'll wait for a few seconds you can see the successful message here and also we can check the package status that is operationally up let us test this over the devices let me log to my CLI and then I will go and I will do the configuration over the devices let me go to the NCS 
uh, admin like Cisco. Here, what I can go do, I can go to my SNMP template five, and then I can set the community string say giga net. That is the variable I'm setting here. Then I can give the access say read write and then I have the option for the devices devices I can take all so I can give ALU say C C0 I've already applied in the, my previous section so F5 J0 say XR0 okay now what I can do here I can check the output commit output say commit dry run and I can use XML format so let me check what options I have so output format I have options CLI native and XML first let us check XML reference to the devices is showing wrong let me abort and let me do it one more time so what I have done here I have given the devices and then let me give the device name as well so I can use ALU 0 say C0 already done say FIP 0 Z0 XR 0 let me check the output So that was the missing piece there now let me scroll up from here and we can see this say so for ALU this was the configuration let me scroll it down so you can also see then F5 then Juniper then XR okay now if I want to check this output in say native we'll see what is the difference so for ALU it's like very much the native one but for F5 you can see it is in XML format and Juniper also it is in XML format where is my XR XR you can see it's in Cisco format okay so Juniper and uh, say F5 what they are doing they are taking uh, input as a native language that is a net conf in the XML format so that's the difference if I go and check uh, the other output that is the CLI CLI you can see the plus because we are going to add all these things suppose if you want to delete then it will show minus here things are okay let me do commit check and then commit let me log to the devices one by one so what I can do here I can go to my NCS say NetSIM and 
from here say suppose if I want to log in to Juniper and the, the name is Cisco but it's not Cisco actually the root name is Cisco okay so we'll do show running conf configuration SNMP and this is the configuration we have now let me exit from here let me go back let me check ALU 0 show running conf configuration you can see you have the difference for all these uh, outputs let me check this suppose if I don't know the filter because that is the new device I am uh, working first time then what I can do at least I can go to show running and I can search SNMP that is very much done exit from here I want to check my F5 as well so let me check my F5 that is FIP0 let me scroll up what's the name of F5 I'm using let me go up 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 scroll up F5 I, I am using FIP0 okay so what I'll do again I'll go to NetSim F5 I will do show run and at the moment I have only this configuration okay so this is the way that we can verify over the devices so far we have added GigaNet let me add net giga as well let me go to the NCS CLI go to configuration this time I want to add the community string as say net giga and the access role is read only okay then I want to add devices let me add all these devices and I want to edit some of them so let me edit that say so I don't want uh, C0 I want C1 go to top say commit dry run let me scroll up so you can see this and this will be very interesting output so what this time we are doing that we are uh, adding read only so all the plus plus you can see all the devices you can see let me check this as well so de devices for net giga correct commit this So once uh, I committed this again what I can do I can exit say I will go to the F5 and I'll check show run now we have this entry added here and not only here you will see everywhere so if I go to say Juniper say J0 and if, if I check show run say configuration SNMP here we have added these lines okay 
so you can see that uh, we can add at any time even if we want we can delete as well let me show you that how we can delete this as well let me exit from here first exit from here let me go and log in terms of Cisco say I want to delete let me go up in Cisco style basically what we are doing we are using no keyword let's use that no and let's check the commit dry run now here you can see all these minus signs so that's why I execute this command what it will do once I execute this then it will remove all these statements all these commands and let me do commit check yeah but at the moment I don't want to delete it 